dump them. While you're at it, let's get rid of number four, six, and I'd say lose number 12, except the prosecutor's gonna up and do it for us. Number six? You're kidding, right? She's my first choice. She's my first pet. So it's mission critical when you walk into that courtroom to try to get the best jury you can for your client. The Devil's Advocate. That's the movie we're gonna watch. All right, Mr. Clintine, let me ask you this. Do you think as a juror, you would be able to set aside any prior opinion you might hold about the savings and loan industry? So this scene, those of you who have seen this movie, another Al Pacino movie, excellent. It's got Keanu Reeves in it. It's a really great legal movie, and then it turns kind of creepy as you go through the movie. But they're doing a jury selection, and jury selection is mission critical uh, for any attorneys going into a courtroom and having a trial, whether it's a civil trial, uh, fighting about money, or it's a criminal trial and, and someone's freedom is on the line. And every courtroom tends to handle jury selection a little bit differently. There are some courts where you get quite a bit of latitude and time to ask questions of the prospective jurors, and there are other courtrooms where they don't give you much time at all. And so one thing you can do when you're in a jury selection is you can challenge a juror for, for cause, meaning they have so much bias against a certain thing that they're not a good fit for the juror. I'll give you an example. My brother owns a restaurant sports bar back in our hometown in Michigan where I'm from. And uh, many years ago, uh, there was a young fella who was underage and had a fake ID and was drinking in my brother's bar, got intoxicated, went outside, gave his girlfriend a piggyback ride, slipped and fell on the ice and injured himself, and then he turned around and sued my brother. As you can imagine, my brother wasn't real happy about that and he thought it was a bunch of nonsense. And the case was ultimately dismissed. But if my brother was sitting at a jury and the issue was some restaurant or bar was being sued because someone slipped and fell in a parking lot, you probably wouldn't want my brother on that jury if you were on the plaintiff's side. If you were on the defense side, you'd probably love having him on there. But a good plaintiff's attorney, if they dug deep enough to figure this out about my brother, they'd go right to the judge and say, look, this, we appreciate this gentleman's time. Obviously, he has so much bias against folks that are injured on the property of a bar or a restaurant that he wouldn't be fit for the jury and the judge uh, would just excuse that juror. Now, separate from that, you're also allowed certain dismissals of jurors. There's a set amount and each side gets to dismiss a set amount and you don't need a reason. Okay, you can just let them go. Now, you're not supposed to do it for discriminatory purposes or things like that, like taking off someone because they're a minority or something like that, but the truth is, it probably does happen out there. So let's see what happens in this jury selection and what Keanu Reeves has to say about it. That was a question, sir. What? Do I like bankers? <clears throat> uh, Your Honor, may I have a minute, please, to confer with my colleagues? You may. Dump them. While you're at it, let's get rid of number four, six, and I'd say lose number 12, except the prosecutor's gonna f up and do it for us. Number six. You're kidding, right? She's my first choice. She's my first pass. And four? With the dreadlocks. That's crazy. That's a defendant's juror if I ever saw one. Did you see his shoes? Uh, look, kid. Maybe down in Florida, you are the next big thing. This is New York, Manhattan. We're not squeezing oranges here. He polishes those shoes every night. He makes his own clothes. He may look like a brother with an attitude to you, but I see a man with a shotgun under his bed. And woe betide the creature who steps into his garden. And number six, your favorite, she's damaged goods. She's a Catholic school teacher. Hmm? Believes in human frailty? No. There's something missing from her. She's wrong. She wants on this jury. Somebody hurt her and she wants revenge. How the hell do you know that? I don't know. So, pretty interesting conversation there Keanu Reeves has had with the other attorney about jury selection. Now, keep in mind that jury selection, some would have you believe that there's a lot of science to it. In fact, there are companies that lawyers will hire to come in and help them pick their juries. There's a lot that can go into 
the jury selection process. So Keanu Reeves is doing two different things here. One, he's, he's focusing on details, right? The guy's shoes, his clothes, and drawing conclusions. But then he's also just kind of going with his gut about the woman he's describing. Now, you'll later find out that Keanu Reeves basically has superpowers in this movie, and that's why he's so good. But, you know, it's dangerous to do that. It's dangerous to play on your assumptions, right? Your stereotypes and those types of things when you're selecting a jury because you don't always have enough time to figure out who that person really is. What are their biases? What are their agendas and that type of thing? One really interesting question to ask of jurors in jury selection is what kind of bumper stickers they have on their cars. Because you can't ask someone their politics or any of that kind of thing, but you can oftentimes learn a lot about a person by what kind of bumper stickers they have on the car. So let's see how this scene here plays out. Look, either you put a stop to this happy or I walk. Walk. All right, here's the deal. I lose with your jury, you do the explaining. Your Honor, may I continue? We'd like to excuse jurors three, four, and... Anyway, so he wraps that scene up. He goes with Keanu Reeves' recommendations. Yeah, I think they ultimately win that trial, of course, because it's Hollywood. But interesting scene. It doesn't really go super deep into jury selection, but it's mission critical when you walk into that courtroom to try to get the best jury you can for your client. What you really want is an impartial jury. Does that really exist? You tell us. Do you think there are impartial jurors out there that can truly take away their biases, be objective, and, and render a fair judgment? I'm not so sure.